Harry Kroto, Chemiker, wurde 1996 mit dem Nobelpreis ausgezeichnet. Er war ein enger Freund von Josef Rotblatt. Gemeinsam mit ihm wirkte er über viele Jahre für nukleare Abrüstung. Er wollte heute gerne hier sein. Eine heimtückische Krankheit hielt ihn davon ab. Er schickte uns das folgende Video. Well, it's a great honor to be asked to open this conference. Uh, probably as much as any th reason is that in the last few years of his life I became a close friend of Joe Rockland, who I consider one of the two or three great men that I got to know well. But only in the last few years of his life, when I interviewed him, and I think there's, I've interviewed a lot of people, and I think these are the most important interviews that, that I have ever done. I think um, I often use uh, part of his Nobel lecture um, when I talk to young people about responsibility. And uh, I've often gone to Lindau where some of the people who are really movers and shakers of the world will get to be in positions of um, major responsibility. And, uh, and I think things have changed since Joe um, and Pugwash uh, tried to change the world. And I think what has happened is that governments are no longer in control. Big business is now in control. And I think the future young people who are in positions of uh, power, they are responsible, uh, with that power responsibility is very important. And I think they have to now direct their efforts to change the attitudes of the people who are at the head of big business. Uh, I'm rem reminded of one of the great lines of Joe, which is, uh, remember your humanity and forget the rest. I just love that statement, that comment, and I use it very often. And I think because we see that um, industry now making money seems to be more important in controlling the way that countries and people behave, um, there's a big problem because I think many of them, not only have they forgotten their humanity, I'm not sure they ever had any. And so I think this conference should start to think very carefully about um, who they should direct their attention to. And my view is it is the leaders of industry. And one sees that when, for instance, just recently a humanitarian comment was made by a, a, a minister of a particular country, a humanitarian comment with regard to another country that is very low down on the list of um, human rights. Um, the country in question um, broke off relations. And who was to complain about this? It was the business community within the country of that minister that complained that they're going to lose their money that they're going to make. This is an indication of the problems of the future. And I think my motto for this conference and for people with responsibility for saving the world we should take it from Joseph Rothbard, and that is, remember your humanity and forget the money.